paint the trail here. I'm up here with, I like doing this with Matt Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Ebony Tower, yeah. Do that again. Ebony Tower over me. Matt Morgan here with me. It's a throwback for those of you that have been watching Paint the Trail from day one. You should recognize this. <laughs> it looks like we're teaming up again. We are. We are, buddy. So I heard you're having a big wrestling match uh, this coming Saturday. I am. What's going on with that? Old man Morgan's come out of retirement for one more match. <laughs> you said that last year. I did say that last year. <laughs> You know, uh, Coach Thomas, uh, Lyman High School football coach, and mm -hmm. Coach, great guy. Treats his kids like they're legit his own children. Mm -hmm. He was telling me a problem about him not having anti-concussion football helmets. So he's gonna raise money. So, bottom line is he reached out to me, mm -hmm. and he said, hey, we're having a problem raising money for these speed flex helmets. I said, what's that? He said, they're anti-concussion helmets. I said, you guys don't have those? And he said, no. I said, how much are they a piece? He said, 350 bucks, though. Wow. So. We started. He's wanting to get the fo those football helmets for all of the kids, not just the varsity players. See, exactly, and that's where exactly right, Jeff. So that's exactly what he said to me. So we raised enough to get 16 helmets, and it was great. We went from having 15 kids with concussions last season with none of those helmets to this year having 16 helmets split amongst the team mm -hmm. to one concussion. Wow. But I would argue we can't predict that, right? Which which player that doesn't right. have the helmet might get hit wrong, right? So, well, if you had helmets for all these kids, you might have had no, no concussions. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so they're not mandated by uh, any... No, no, and that's another fight. I'm going to take the state. Mark my words. I'm going to go to Alaska about this. Mm -hmm. And uh, this needs to be a bigger issue, in my opinion, and that's for a fight for another day. But mm -hmm. for today, my job is to protect our school, our mm -hmm. kids, my kids, your kids. A lot of schools already have kids. these helmets. A lot of schools yes, don't, a lot, don't have them. A lot of schools have them. A lot of schools don't. That's exactly right, mm -hmm. Jeff. And I know I wish I had them. But I'll say that when I played, but I'll say this much, is that we got we got a freshman team, we have a junior varsity team, and we have the varsity team. So it isn't about just getting enough for varsity. We want JV, we want freshmen covered. Mm -hmm. And when they practice, Jeff, these yeah. concussions can happen. Right. Every kid deserves to have one of these helmets, mm -hmm. and parents need to be able to be rest assured that their kids are being taken care of. Right. That's the most important piece of equipment that those kids are gonna wear. It's a helmet, why not? Because there's a big difference between a non-concussion helmet right. and one of those concussion helmets. That's a great point. And what it is, the people at home don't know, right here in the crown of the helmet, right, right here, mm -hmm. where all the tackling and head-to-head -head collisions happen, there's give to these flex helmets. Mm -hmm. They press in slightly. Like, like, think of a crumple zone of a vehicle, of your car. Mm -hmm. Think of that, right? Crumple zone provides more give safety. Yeah, yeah, give. Great word. And that's what these are. And they're amazing. And so, um, hosting an event here, Ryder Park Rumble this Saturday at 2 p.m. I'm coming out of retirement for one more match to draw people to come. And the idea is it's free admission, all right? But we pray, beg, and plead of you guys that are coming, please contribute something. Uh, we're asking for suggestive donations. These helmets cost $350 a pop. We have a lot of players to cover. This could be your kid. This could be my five-year-old one day that doesn't have these helmets. You know, it could be anybody's. Yeah. And, and all the proceeds are going to buy these helmets. 1,000%. Every penny we raise goes to this. That's where the whole event's being put on. I'm having wrestlers come in from all across the country to take part in this for wow. free. Wow. There's some non-wrestling fans here in the city that have never been to an event before. So yes, rest assured, this is very PG. Um, it's for the whole family. My own five-year-old will be here from the center. Um, and that's what's cool about pro wrestling. Good versus evil, David versus Goliath. It's so basic. Everyone can understand the psychology behind good versus evil, right? Or good versus bad. So come on out, boo the bad guys, cheer the good guys. It's for a great cause. You're the main event? And <laughs> I better be the main event. Well, how many are you gonna? What do you gonna? You gonna yes. wrestle like five guys Great or question. something? Or what? Yeah, good question. <laughs> I, I'm no, I'm in a tag team match because okay. I am. How long have you been a commissioner now? A year? Year and three months. Year and four months. Yeah, you've done a lot of good stuff, man. Already. Deputy mayor now, man. Thank you. Yeah, deputy mayor. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, I follow you on Instagram and on Facebook. You're always doing something, man. You're always at a school talking to some kids or raising money for uh, like the football stuff here and and um, you know the uh, the batting cages just always doing something man it's awesome man we, uh, you know I can speak for pretty much many of the residents in Longwood and say when I say thank you we do appreciate it it's nice to have somebody that cares all these new things coming to our city that you don't have to leave now mm -hmm. to go do no right. more Lake Mary
there. No more Altamont Springs to go out to eat, to go out and enjoy a musical act, things of that nature. We're going to have that here. We're going to have our own activities here. This amphitheater here, we're having a music series, concert series starting this spring. I'm probably more excited about that than I am my own event because <laughs> that, that was a dream of mine. Mm -hmm. And we're about to make it a reality. And let's be very clear, I don't even get elected and become an office if I don't get the confidence of people like you mm -hmm. that say, what are you doing? Oh my God, you should so be doing this. This is you. This has your name on it. Matt, you'd be perfect for this. And give me the confidence that I needed to mm -hmm. put my name in that hat. So I thank you and others oh, that help support me. Well, you're doing some good things, man. And this is a beautiful park. When we were going around one day, I was watching this one dad uh, just on the football with his kid here. Mm -hmm. Something like that, man. This, to be able to go find yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I'm I'm interested to see the uh, oh, the amphitheater. We're gonna have a concert here coming up here pretty right, soon. Yes, we're having a concert series starting this spring. Yeah. Um, and that's probably that. Like that was one of my big dreams. Mm. They'll put musical acts here. They'll put comedy acts here, and do some more for our adult entertainment here as well. Not just kids, you know. Yeah. We got a uh, the water was on a minute ago, but we got a little kitty splash park. Huge. Uh, going in here, you said they just rubberized the floor. Yes. So kids aren't tearing up their feet. There's going to be concrete. Spoke up about some of the other par other parks I've seen for splash pads, and they, they usually use a softer surface. Mm -hmm. And uh, luckily, our city saw that air and fixed it really quickly. I, I go to Lake Mary and use their splash pad. It's awesome to be able to have our own now. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, you got all kinds of new uh, little kid. Um, yeah, play equipment over yeah. there and on the other side of, of, the, of the park here you have actual exercise equipment, equipment. looks like some pretty high dollar outdoor yeah, exercise yeah, equipment it is. the farmer's yeah. market is going to be held here pretty soon yeah, right actually, in a couple I, of weeks or? my understanding we'll have our first one i could have sworn he said next week next week I'm pretty sure huh. but i do know that i was going to say what i did want to point out is that i want everyone to understand this park was put here through grant money mm. really yeah this isn't taxpayers money no kidding as you see, we have sand hill cranes all throughout our city. Mm. I don't know about you, I love our sand hill cranes. Dude, there's a there's a couple of little baby sand hill cranes. They're only about a foot tall. They're oh. running through my yard every day. Dude, I love that. Jackson, yeah. my kid, my son loves them. The same yeah. thing. Our front yard, I got big ones that come there every mm -hmm. morning about 6 30. It's our mid-morning ritual. Anyways, others feel the same way in our city. They love mm -hmm. our sand hill cranes. So mm -hmm. that's what that is. Sand hill crane yeah, very sculpture. Cool. Yeah. Something different. It lights up at night. It does. Yeah. So what's, oh, okay. what, what's really cool, Jeff, is during our concert series this spring, and even at the wrestling show that I'm having mm -hmm. this weekend, this is a cool spot that we envision people to sit on. Yeah, sure. And be able to watch what's going on on mm -hmm. stage. And it's different. If you want to stand, you can stand up here, get a better bird's eye mm -hmm. view of what the entertainment is. It's just something different. Yeah. And again, it separates us from any other park. And again, folks, Jeff. What's really cool about this, not many people know, is that it's still being worked on right now as we speak. Mm. And we're building dressing rooms back there for, for the entertainment acts mm. that will be coming here. In fact, to my understanding, it'll be the first use of it this weekend in my wrestling event where the wrestlers will be able to change in the locker Oh, rooms. nice. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So when people come out and do the comedy acts, mm -hmm. comedy shows, or, or, or musical acts, mm -hmm. that back area will be privated off for them and hmm. their families. And, you know, their back VIP area mm -hmm. to, to be comfortable in between acts and shows. Awesome. For the lights. Yeah. And then there's a little information on what Sandhill Cranes. Yeah. Sandhill Cranes are omnivores. They eat uh, animals and plants. I know that. I didn't know that. I just thought they ate bread. Oh, Saturday the 16th at 2 o'clock is when the event starts, correct? Two o'clock. Yeah. It'll probably go what? Three hours? Probably, yeah, probably, probably uh, two to three hours. So, do people need to get some food out before they come, or we'll have some food trucks here. Oh, okay. If people are hungry, I, I would just again, any money you spend, please, guys, if you can, you can, you can. We still want you to come out and enjoy the event. It's part of what we're trying to do different here, along with bright entertainment you wouldn't get elsewhere. But also contribute by suggested donations to Lima High School football and that concussion helmets. You're right. Yeah, there's a lot of people going to a lot of effort to put this together, yourself included. Yes, All for the benefit of getting these kids uh, yes. concussion-proof helmets, which they desperately need. Yes. So, yes. It could be, it's a difference between having a, in, a seriously injured kid yep. or, you know, ha having a kid that doesn't get injured. And I would also argue that parents that have kids in the Pop Warner age that are not letting their kids play because they're worried about their future, 
now they might think different because they'll be in an area where their kid will one day go to high school where that is being taken care of. Mm -hmm. Helmets are anti-concussion. Mm -hmm. It's also food for thought. You got your Lyman High School uh, badge on too, actually, huh? Oh my god. put that on before you go in. Oh, Were you at the school today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt. Well, hey, man, thank you so much. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate thank you so it. Much.